In this demonstration video, we're going to talk about how to use the site thinglink.com to distribute and display our animations throughout the internet through places like Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Google Plus, and, and such. So we start by getting, uh, open yourself up an account on thinglink.com. It's very quick to do. Once you do, you can pick your own username. You can see here I'm SV Gerald on this one. And so what we're going to do is show you how to post a link to one of your animations on other sites. Now as you can see here, I've already posted other animations, <clears throat> but you'll notice that they are not running. What you're looking at is actually the background picture, the still, because this, this site will not host the animation, but it will link to it. So the first step is to get a background picture of an animation that you have already corrected and post it onto ThingLink. <clears throat> and we do that like this. We go to Create. And that will allow us to upload images from our computer. So we can drag and drop them, or we can click here, and that will open up the browser window on our computer. So let's see what I've got in here. That would, if I can find the, the background picture for one of my current animations. And I see one right here. So I click on that open it up, and it will upload. That takes me to this screen here. Now I can start adding media-rich tags to the picture. What a media-rich tag is, is a tag that will give you more information when you hover your mouse over it. The first one we're going to do is going to be a link to the actual animation because this isn't the animation. So we start by clicking here and down here we, we have to decide where we're going to link it to. Okay, So I need to go get an animation and I think I have this one in my Dropbox. So I go to Dropbox, go to the public link, and now I can copy the link to this animation, if I can find it. It's called Beach Fun, and there it is. So I right click on this, I go to Dropbox, and go to left click on po Copy Public Link. Now I can get rid of this window, and in here I simply paste it into the link window, and now I pick the icon that I want to appear right here. Right now it's an I for like information. But what I want is a red play button that makes it obvious that you have to click there. So when they click now on this still picture, it will take them to the actual animation on my Dropbox user account. Now I can also add a description. So rather than just the Dropbox address, I can say, click on image while in Chrome, Firefox, or Safari. Because I know those browsers, well, I'll demonstrate it. If they click on it while they're in Internet Explorer, of course, it's not going to work. And they might think, what is this thing? The next step is to hit, oops, is to make sure your spelling is right. Let's get that X in there instead of Z. And now click on Save Tag. Now that we've done that, if you hover over this, once we've finished it, it will tell you where it links to, and there'll also be that last little thing that I typed in. But we can add more. So if we click down here, now I can link to Pack and Zoom. So I'm going to write P-A-C, oops, I want to 
put the whole address, www.pac-n-zoom.com. And I'm not going to use the same icon. I'm going to use an information icon. And I can write animation is easy with this new tool. And I go to save tag. So now when I hover over this, after we've saved it, it will display that link. So someone has now, they can look at the animation and they can also link back to our Pack and Zoom website where they can create an animation. And after you've done whatever you're going to do or whatever you're going to link it to, we hit save. And to see that, ha click on the image. Okay, it takes you to Dropbox user. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And you can see it opens up a new window. And there we have an actual animation. Okay, so now that we know that works, and you'll notice you've got to have your cursor on the screen for these things to show up. When it leaves the screen, the media-rich markups go away. So I can do a couple of things here now. One thing I can do is touch it, which just means you like it. So you can touch it, but the most important thing is I can share it. By clicking on share, I can now link to any of these places, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Google+, Tumblr, Edmodo, which I'm not familiar with. You can share it with your email, or you can create a ThingLink app on Facebook. Okay, so I'm going to post this one on Facebook. So all I have to do is click on Facebook. I can write something on this picture, like a day at the beach. And simply click on that link, and now it's on Facebook. When you go to Facebook, Again, you'll just see a still picture, and down in the left-hand corner, there will be a little play area. You'll do that. You'll click on that, which will take you to a, a link like this with the red play. You hit it again, and you'll display the animation. Now, let's say I want to share it somewhere else. I can share it to Pinterest. Watch how easy this is. All I have to do is pin it. And if I wanted to, I could tweet it, or again, share it on Facebook if I had done this first. But it literally is that easy to send these to other places. So, get out there, make some animations, and start spreading the news.